All right. So when we talk about the processes such as glycolysis, Krebs cycle, electron transport system, uh, there's a whole lot of deal going on with the energetics. That is the number of electrons that are being fed onto the electron transport chain and the number of ATP that is being generated. Well, from uh, TCS cycle or the Krebs cycle, there are NADH and FADH2 that are being generated and being fed directly into the electron transport chain inside the mitochondria, which are generating ATP accordingly. But apart from that, there are two different shuttle systems that are taking electrons that are being generated from the process of glycolysis itself and these electrons are being fed into the mitochondria, inside the mitochondria, onto the electron transport chain and thereby gen generating more ATP. So the first shuttle system that we're going to talk about is the mallet aspartate shuttle system. Mallet aspartate shuttle. So this is the first shuttle system. Now what happens in mallet aspartate shuttle is we all know that the glycolysis process it has got the glyceraldehyde, glyceraldehyde, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Now this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into one free bisphosphoglycerate. So I'm just calling it BPG. So glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is being converted to 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and in the process, in the process, NAD plus is reduced to NADH. Now this NADH, which is carrying the electron right now, it is going and giving the electron to the process, which is when oxaloacetate, I'm writing it as OAA, oxaloacetate is being converted into malate. So NADH is going and giving the electron to oxaloacetate and oh, I mean in the conversion of oxaloacetate to malate. Now malate is carrying the electron and in the process, in the process NADH is converted back to NAD plus and the and the uh, electron carrier pull is being maintained. So now we have mallet which can cross the, uh, cross the um, membrane of the mitochondria, that is the inner and the outer membrane of the mitochondria. Let's draw the mitochondrial membrane over here. Let's say this is the inner membrane and the outer membrane. Mm, this is the periplasmic space. Now it is going inside and this mallet that is going inside, it is again converted into oxaloacetate inside the matrix of the mitochondria. Okay, so let me write this down. This is the matrix of the mitochondria and mallet is being converted into oxaloacetate inside the matrix of the mitochondria. And Oxaloacetate in the matrix is again being converted to aspartate. Now when malate is being converted to oxaloacetate in the mitochondria, in this process, in this process again, 1 NAD plus is being converted into NADH. So you can see over here the NADH that gave the electron to mallet, now mallet carrying the electron, it gives the electron to NAD plus and makes it to NADH. Now this NADH can further give up the electron into the electron transport system. And specifically if I talk about NADH gives the uh, electron to the electron transport system in the complex one of the transport chain. Now whenever NADH is being fed into complex one of the transport chain, you get 
2.5 ATP. Now, practically, you cannot have 2.5 ATP. This is just to uh, make the energetics a little bit easier. So, NAD plus has been converted to NADH, which is feeding the electron onto the complex one of electron transport system, and the chain is generating 2.5 ATP. Now, the aspartate that was formed from oxaloacetate, which was again formed from malate, this aspartate can diffuse out of the mitochondria, and again, this aspartate in the cytosol can convert back to oxaloacetate and the cycle would continue. So this is one of the shuttle system that is the malate aspartate shuttle system. The important thing to note over here that the NADH that was having the electron it cannot go inside that is why it is feeding the electron to malate and malate carrying the electron goes inside the matrix of mitochondria Okay, so let me write it down over here. This is the mitochondria. Now, when it is going inside the mitochondria, malate is converted back to oxaloacetate. In the process, this NAD plus, uh, the NAD plus that is inside the mitochondrial matrix, it has been converted to NADH, and this NADH, which is now carrying the electron, is feeding the electron to the electron transport system in the complex one. And whenever, whenever the electron is being fed into the complex one, it is generating 2.5 ATP. So moving to the next shuttle system, we have the glycerol 3-phosphate shuttle system. So the second one is glycerol 3-phosphate shuttle. So in glycerol 3-phosphate shuttle, um, what happens is that uh, there is a step in glycolysis where dihydroxyacetone phosphate, this is an intermediate in the glycolytic pathway, and this, this gets converted to glycerol. 3-phosphate via the enzyme glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. Cool. Now, now, one thing to note is that in glycolysis process, the dihydroxyacetone phosphate and the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, they interchange among themselves. But this is a different molecule. It is having glycerol, not glyceraldehyde. So, dihydroxyacetone phosphate converted to glycerol 3-phosphate and in the process, what happens? 1NADH gives up its electron to glycerol 3 phosphate and gets oxidized to NAD. Now, this glycer glycerol 3 phosphate, what it does, it goes to the mitochondria, and let's say this is the Inner mem the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane and on the inner membrane embedded onto the inner membrane there is the enzyme glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase again. So this was also converted by glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, but this was in the cytosol. And glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase is again present on the, I mean embedded onto the inner membrane of the mitochondria. So let me write it down over here. This is the mitochondria again. Now, glycer, glycerol 3-phosphate, it comes and it moves into the periplasmic space of the mitochondria uh, or the intermembrane space of the mitochondria and it is converted into dihydroxyacetone phosphate which is present in the intermembrane space and this dihydroxyacetone phosphate can move out of the mitochondria 
and again this cycle is going to repeat over again and during this process when the glycerol 3 phosphate is being converted to dihydroxyacetone phosphate by glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase what happens one molecule of FAD plus is converted to FADH2. So the electron that was being carried by glycerol 3 phosphate coming from the cytosol and given up by NADH, this electron is being passed on to FAD plus, which is being converted to FADH2. And similarly, like the previous process, FADH2 would go on to provide the electron to the electron transport system and specifically to the complex 2. Because NADH always gives the electron to the complex 1 of the electron transport system and FADH2 to the complex 2. Now, whenever complex 2 is receiving the electron, uh, there is a change in the ATP number and this is going to be 1.5 ATP per cycle so or per FADH2 that is giving the electron to the electron transport system sorry this is going to be ATP and uh, this ATP is again used by the cell to you know do a lot of work so we saw that in the mallet aspartate shuttle the electron transport chain is receiving the NADH the electron from the NADH and it is converting and it is uh, being fed onto the complex 1 and thereby it is making 2.5 ATP whereas for the um, glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle the electron transport system is getting the electrons from FADH2 and thereby it is giving it to complex 2 and thereby making 1.5 ATP. So that was the different shuttle system for the glycolytic pathway and hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and I'm going to be linking some of the other videos over here. You can watch the other videos and until the next time.